outside of the K-Wings locker room with head coach Nick Bootland. K-Wings dropped a 6-4 game to the Fort Wayne Comets that are eliminated from the Kelly Cup playoffs. Uh, four games to one. Coach, first of all, looking at the game, your team came in. Uh, they, they played with desperation and, and they really they didn't want to be done. You could see that. There was a lot of heart out there tonight on the ice. Yeah, I felt the last two games that uh, we played the way we needed to play to, to win playoff games and be successful. And you know, I think it took us a little while to get going as a group um, this postseason. And um, obviously, that's disappointing. You know, um, a hard front battle to the end. Um, you know, we made some big mistakes tonight that cost us some goals against. But uh, we kept trying to find a way to battle our way back into the lineup. And if you look at it, we go two for five on the power play tonight. We score a shorthanded goal. We only allow one power play goal against. Um, so they go one for four or one for five or whatever the stats were and um, you look at that and you know you, you would think that you won the hockey game um, but you know they made some we made some big mistakes and they were able to capitalize on those and um, you know they're moving on and um, unfortunately we're done. Certainly never want to make excuses but is this series maybe a, a question of what ifs you know you lose your two of your top defensemen in Blaine and LaFranchise uh, Kennedy goes out early tonight you lose Dane Fox uh, you know do, do you wonder or, or do you just never even let that enter your mind? No I mean we feel that we had guys that were capable of winning hockey games that we put in the lineup and you know obviously Foxy was playing well and um, he's out and then at the same time Kennedy breaks his leg in the first period tonight and uh, you know, so he's going to be out four to six weeks, and you lose the franchise and blame. Yeah, they're good players, but we had guys ready. We had guys jumping in that have been here. Canisto jumped in tonight. He hasn't played a game in almost four weeks, and jumped into playoff pace and did a great job by preparing himself. You know, working hard every day, working out every day to be ready to go, and that, that's definitely not an excuse. You know, it's nice when everything goes um, without adversity, but at the same time, we still expected the same results, and we expected to win. You mentioned adversity. It seems like it's been the, the theme of this year. This team is it's been a roller coaster ride. It's all the way from November through through today. Uh, a lot of ups and downs, but you guys always battled back. Uh, you know, despite the odds, uh, a lot of heart from a lot of these guys. Well, unfortunately, we were part of the worst um, losing streak, losing and stretch of games when we uh, the, those 15 games where we won. Not very many, uh, you know, one point in nine games, and then we won one, and then lost three or four in a row again. And um, to be part of that and have the worst losing streak in 41 years of hockey history is not something to be excited about. But then to make the postseason after that in battle, these guys have battled for a long time to try and get themselves in. It's just a disappointing way to go out. And of course, we'd be remiss if we didn't didn't mention all the great fans that have come out. You, you mentioned the roller coaster ride; they stuck with you guys. They, they're cheering as loud as could be. Uh, if they weren't in the stands at home, on Twitter, on Facebook, wherever they could, they, they always showed their support for this team. Well, there's no doubt. I mean, I'm obviously uh, fortunate that I've been here for a very long time, and I I, I love this community. I love this organization, and um, I love this fan base and uh, the best fan base that uh, I've ever been involved in. And uh, their support is fantastic, and we appreciate it right to the end. Classy. All the way. Your run to the Kelly Cup for next year starts, I guess, essentially tomorrow. Uh, we'll talk to you in, uh, throughout the summer. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.